But in this video, we're going to talk about how to make a website. Um, and before we get going on that, I want to just show you kind of some pros and cons um, to different styles of websites. Um, so there's basically three types. There's a Google Classroom type, which is far superior if you want to uh, have students turning in assignments um, and run kind of like a, a semi-paperless classroom like that. Um, so if that's something that you want to accomplish, this video is not going to be for you. Um, uh, I'll, I'll show you how to make set up a Google Classroom. That'll be far more beneficial. Um, the other kind is uh, like kind of a blog where you're updating like that day's events. Um, now blogs um, like WordPresses um, uh, or things like that, they have um, every time you update something, um, the new thing will go to the top and push everything down a space. Um, for me, I don't really like that style um, for education because um, it takes a lot of tinkering. Every day you have to be constantly updating it. Um, I like just having a landing spot like this. So this is kind of like a static page. This is my website. And the way I use it is I have a whole bunch of, I have all my, web, um, my assignments just linked here um, as like PDFs, right? And so students can access that anytime or resources. Now, once this is up, I don't have to, I don't have to change it. I mean, next year, if I want to like improve an assignment, I can do that. Um, but I don't have to do a lot of tinkering. And so it saves me a lot of time. Um, and so that's why I prefer this over kind of the WordPressy um, style website. Um, so let's, let's make one. Weebly is one of the online editors. Um, so if you just search just Weebly, it'll, it'll bring you right here. Um, and uh, you want to sign up for an account. Um, I have to uh, use my wife's one because I already have one on my account. Um, I'll use, still use my own name. Okay. Okay. Okay, so it'll bring you um, here, and what we're going to be doing, um, like I said, we could make a blog style one, but I think it just takes more time, and I, I firmly believe that tech is only there to save us time or do something better, so I think we should go with a side option. Here, it's going to have us choose a theme, and a theme can be, I mean, they have all these like templates, and there's millions of them. I can just keep scrolling down for forever. Um, what's important to look, le uh, look at is the navigation and how you want to have your, um, your site be navigable. Um, so I'm going to choose this one. So what I imagine here, instead of this home, I'll have like, well, maybe I'll have like a home and then I'll have algebra, algebra support and computer science for me. And I can get rid of these two ones, right? And I just think that that's a nice crisp look um, for the website. All this stuff you guys can change um, at any point. Um, throughout the process. Okay, so I'm going to go here. I'm going to get this. The, the way they make money and stuff is um, having you upgrade or buying a more professional ones. So like if you want to do www.myname.com, um, that's going to cost you cash. But for this one, um, Mr. Test Teacher, okay. So Mr. Test Teacher .weebly.com, that'll be my website. Um, and you can obviously have like mrnoter.weebly.com um, or, or whatever. Um, so I'm going to continue with that free one. It's like, oh, it's taken with an exclamation point? Take one. Okay. Teacher with a Z. Okay, sweet. <laughs> um, so I'm going to... Uh, the, the cool thing I like about this is when you're when you're creating it, it's live. So I can go to the about page and it'll bring me to it in the contact page. So I'm editing a, a, a page that I can see how it's running, right? So everything that I want to change, like this, uh, this headline, you just click on it and you can um, um, and, and just start editing right away. Um, there's automatically bar that comes up like this where we can change the color. Typically their themes are pretty good, so um, I, I wouldn't be messing around with it uh, too much, right? Um, uh, 
Um, so I want to create a new page. This is my home page. Home page, I mean, it's probably going to be pretty simple because your students are just going to go there and then get to their more specific site. So I have a home, an about, and a contact. Um, up here, this page button is a very important button. I'm going to click on that. And I can see I have the about and the contact page, right? If I ever want to change the order, this these three vertical dots, that's what that means. And so I can just flip those and it'll change the order there. And so watch that top right if I just change them back. Um, right here on this like little page, that's how I edit it. And I can go click here. If I don't want the about page, I can just delete it. Yes, I want to delete the page. If I want to add a page, there's this plus button by the page. And the standard page is probably the best. Um, they're going to give me a couple of different options. So I'm going to, for me, I'm going to have this one be algebra. Um, the difference between this, uh, this header type, tall header, short header, you can kind of see, I, I think the short header is probably better. Um, oh, by the way, you can edit this image too, if you, if you want to change it. So if this like kind of, I don't know, the Moroccan kind of theme, Mediterranean theme, is it your style? Feel free to edit it. Um, I can choose a layout too. Um, the next step is choose a layout. And what I do, what I would look at is um, just the number of like columns and kind of that, because I think that's the most important thing. So I would say like, let's say we did this one. I'd be basically setting up two column, uh, two columns of information. So let's see what that would look like. Okay. So everything that I hover over um, there's this like little X thing. So if I wanted to get rid of it, I could just delete it um, uh, like that. And it'll automatically update the site um, like this little spacer. I don't want it. Get out of there. So I could create um, my algebra page. Um, and maybe over here I want to have uh, assignments. Um, I don't really need too much text um, exploring what my assignments are, but what I really want, what I really want is um, to add in a couple PDFs here underneath here. Get out of my way. So if I want to, I want to put an assignment underneath this assignment thing. So I'm going to go up to here to build. So the two pages that are really important, the two things up here are pages and build. If you got those two um, buttons down, I mean that's all you need to build the site. So if I want to put in um, a file, right? I just slide down here, build. I go down here to file, and I'm just going to drag it to where I want it to go. This means it's going to be to the left of cleaner graphics. I want to slide it up here and see how that blue line goes side to side. Now it's going to go above clearer graphics into the assignment spot. From here, it's pretty much best case scenario. I'm going to click on it, and it's going to say, all right, awesome. I'm going to do upload file from my computer. Um, and um, you know it can be it can be anything, right? So um, I could be uh, oh here's our family pictures, that's great. Um, I'll upload a an assignment from my things. I mean your files your files are on your computer, um, so wherever you keep your files, um, yeah. Let's let's say this is the one I want to do this one. So I open it up, it uploads the files. And it's here. Um, so I can um, rename it to like um, like Monday's homework or the date, or it could be um, slow intercept form. Okay. And then that'll be the PDF, right? And so when the students go to click on it, it will open up. Oh, it wasn't slow intercept. It was order of operations, but um, you get the idea. That's how that's how um, it works. If you want to put a new, ooh. it's thinking I broke it. Um, so you can repeat that process um, kind of over and over again um, to see the. Um, just to add, add more and more files. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in um, a YouTube video. 
So to get um, a video in, say you want to have resources like this. Um, and, you know, I'm doing mine from a position of an algebra teacher, um, but I can, you know, so if I, if I want to find a video about like, um, um, well, that assignment was order of operations. Whoa, bad spelling. I think I'm on back. Okay, so this dude probably has a, a an all right video on order of operations. So if I want to put this in my my website um, as a as a resource, basically what I do is I have this YouTube thing, and I'm gonna slide slide this YouTube icon wherever I want it. Right now. If you want to put it right above like the assignment that it's going to help with or create like a new I messed up clicking over there. Um, um, or um, or have its own resource bar. It's you know it's your your preference. The way to connect it is just to click on it and it'll have this little spot for the URL right there. So I'm just gonna go up here, copy it, bring it in here. Click paste. And here we go. So now I have a landing spot. So this will work work really good if you're um, a teacher that has like um, that does like TED Talks in their class or um, 60 minute episodes or whatever like media that you're putting in. If a kid's gone and they want access to it, um, it's way easier to just put it on your website and have them go to your website to find it than like searching out the the wider internet. Um, to, to get to it. So you can keep adding things and getting rid of uh, things that you don't want. Um, delete, 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 delete. Uh, like this. Um, and keep building this. Um, there's, a, there's a couple other things that are more kind of advanced. You can put a Google Calendar in this. Um, and if you want to get to that level um, of... Uh, uh, a rigor on your website, um, just let me know and I can come in and help you. You have to go to this embedded code thing and copy in the embedded code of it. Um, and I can show you how to do that. If there's a specific thing that you want out of your website, um, I can I can help you out with that too. But these are just the basics. Um, okay. Just a couple more things uh, I wanted to show you and uh, then we'll publish this thing. Um, so if you start adding this in with all your assignments, it could get to be a pretty long, uh, pretty long list. Um, so instead of doing that, we could break this up in algebra chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, et cetera, like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a page like uh, chapter one, right? I wonder if they'll let me duplicate this. Oh, cool. So yeah, go here and just do copy. Awesome. So I have chapter one, and then I'll do chapter two, and chapter three. Okay. So I don't want this to look like this, though. Algebra, chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. I want these three chapters to go into the algebra one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hover it and place it right. See how I just brought it, like, see how it's... it's wants to be the full thing, and then if I slide it a little bit over to the right, it'll indent. That means it's gonna be associated with the algebra. Now you can't, you don't see algebra, you don't see chapter one, right? Unless I hover over algebra, and then I see chapter one. So I'm gonna do the same thing with chapter two and chapter three, just bring them over slightly. And now I still have that crisp kind of look, and I only have the three things there. But now if I go to algebra, I can do, oh, let's click on chapter two stuff. And I would be here, and it would be chapter two's, um, uh, assignments, resources, etc. cetera. Um, keeping your navigation kind of simple um, is pretty, pretty crucial. Uh, so the last thing we need to do is publish this thing. Um, so, yep, I'm Mr. Test Teachers with a Z at Weebly, awesome. And we're just gonna be doing this for education. Click continue. Sometimes it may take a little bit for it to, um, to turn live. Oh, select category. I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher. Oh, boy. Awesome. Then they want me to, um, uh, you know, potentially upgrade, but I don't have to do that. Get out of here, Brandon. Don't try to talk to me. 
Okay, Mr. Test Teachers dot Weebly dot com. Awesome. My site's my site's live. Um, it behaves as I was behaving before. Um, remember, all these pages are empty. But algebra itself shouldn't be empty if I just go here. Yep, it has the videos that I put in. It has the um, the PDF that I put in there, um, and it really didn't take that long. Uh, really, not long to make. All right, thanks for watching, guys.